everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Christopher and today we're talking about the lenses that I take in my bag sort of generically when I'm going out to do a shoot uh, what am I carrying with me you've probably seen videos like this before I've watched videos like this before so uh, before we get into it let's roll that beautiful b-roll <laughs> Uh, thanks for stopping by. So let's jump into this. Um, I want to talk about the three lenses that I take with me to sort of cover the gambit. Now I made another video. I'll put a link for it in the description below and maybe up here somewhere or down there where I talk about what I take for me with my wildlife photography. This is more generic if I'm on the road. So here we go. First one up. I'm going to always be taking, it's one of my favorite lenses, the 70-200. There are two variants of this. There is the F 2.8, costs a little bit more. It's about $3,000, probably a little bit cheaper now. I think you can get it for $24.99 on Canon's website. May get some discounts somewhere else. But the 70 to 200 is that sort of, um, you know, really compressed, especially if you're if you you're doing headshots, it's really just great for compression. Um, but it's also going a little bit farther. So if you're trying to to see something that is roughly a hundred feet away or so, um, this is a good length uh, length lens to take with you. So it's one of my favorite. Uh, honestly, if you can if you can rock the f4 version, it's probably half the price, and it's a lot smaller. So if you're traveling and space is an issue, take that smaller lens. You're going to get great images out of it. If you know you're going to be in lower light, or if you're shooting wildlife photography or, or fast moving things, that lower f-stop is going to help you out uh, in the long run. So uh, I'll let you decide. Uh, if you're in the area where I live, I'm happy to hook up, uh, grab some coffee, and do a demo day with you to show you the two lenses that I have. The next one up um, that will cover sort of our mid range is going to be the 24 to 70. Now there are not two versions of this, but there is another version of like a, like 26 to 70 or something like that. Um, but it's in the same range. It's a little bit thicker than this, um, but the 24 to 70 is that great in between. So you've got the 7200, um, you've got the 24 to 70, which again is that mid range. Now I would say if you are leaving a lens behind, this would be the one, depending on what you're doing. If you know you're going to be shooting things at far away, honestly, the 7200 is my go-to, even with filming, just so I can be out of sight. But the 24 to 70 is that mid-range. Again, if you've got someone who's like roughly 50 feet away from you or so, or, you know, between that, between that, you know, 10 to 50 feet, and depending on how wide of a frame you need to get, this is covering a pretty wide angle, right? 24 24 millimeter is pretty wide, all things considered. And so, and, and 70 is not bad. It's a great little lens. It is a little heavier, it is a little thicker, and it is a little more expensive, but it's definitely a solid one to put in your bag. Last one up, let's talk about the 15 to 35. Like the 24 to 70, this, these are all L-series lenses. It's about the same size, about the same thickness, but this is going to cover that ultra wide right so you want a really great landscape or you want to take a group picture that's really up close the 15 to 35 is amazing a lot of times when i'm filming i'm often filming with a camera that's at 15 to 35 especially my food shots i want to get really close up i don't want to be very far away that's that like within a couple feet uh, of a uh, and depending on what you're trying to focus in on it's a great great lens now the bonus roll in here is the nifty 50. i always bring this with me everywhere i go and so you can kind of pop this in in just about any old kit but that's it 70 to 200 for a little bit farther distance again that 50 to 100 feet the 70 to 200 uh, again roughly 25 to 50 feet and then anything um, that's within 25 feet to almost right in front of you the 15 to 35 is going to be that lens now this feed is approximate and i'm going to be super clear here before anyone puts anything in the comments this is all relative depending on what you're trying to do um, obviously as a creative and a photographer you're looking for very intimate moments you may use a 7200 to get really up close and personal to get a certain um, compression on an image so these are sort of roundabout numbers in general obviously you'll want to rent these or borrow them from a friend test them yourselves if you want to see me do a video where i shoot the same image with different lenses or different focal lengths let me know in the comments below happy to do something like that in my backyard easy enough to accomplish uh, anyway hope you enjoyed this video if you did do me a favor click that like button 
press the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date. If you have any questions about photography or things you'd like to see me make, let me know. We'd love to hear from you. Anyway, hope you have a good one. See you in the next one.